Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about this. This is a DC to DC connection for a Starlink Mini. So we're taking 12 volts of power from like a car battery or house battery in an RV. We're stepping that up with the DC to DC converter to 48 volts for our Starlink. So first things first, we are starting with what the Starlink comes with, which is this AC to DC plug. We want to replicate that on a DC system, so that's what we're going to do. That's where this component comes in. Link to that in the description below. This is a DC to DC converter. We're going to connect this to our system so that we can use it with our Starlink. In order to do that, we got to get this male plug connected to this female plug and this female plug connected to the output on the DC to DC converter. So male to female, check. Now we got to get those wires connected together and we're going to use Wagyu connectors for that. We're going to document everything in our notebook here. These Wagyu connectors really make things easy. Just doing a little wire stripping on the input and output wires and connecting everything together before putting it into production. To make sure we don't create a fire, we're going to go ahead and monitor the voltage on the output along with the amperage using two multimeters probing our lines while we watch a YouTube video on our phone and uh, put a bigger drain on the Starlink system. And that worked great. So now let's just label our toggle with the Starlink, turn it on and put it into production. That's also a fuse toggle. That's important. Fused at 15 amps. All right, we'll go ahead and button up all our wiring, get everything secured so it's earthquake proof for the roads of the United States where this is going to be used, and we're good to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.